Hello everybody, welcome to Blood Bowl Super League Week 1, Group B, very exciting match. We've got Sol with Skaven versus Olivia Dulac with Skaven. Let's put them on so that they've got uh, blue and red so we know who's who. That's a lot better way of doing it than uh, whatever colours they've chosen. In the booth with me is Dimmy G. Have you got a question for us, Dimmy? Hello. Uh, oh, I completely forgot, Jim. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, What's your favourite cup of tea? There you go. What's Whoa. your favourite cup of tea? Do you know what? I haven't had a cup of tea for a long time. Wow, really? Not even green yeah. tea. I always have green tea when I, I get oh, my I did, I did have, yeah, I did have green tea for a bit. Mate, it's, it's just so bitter. Yeah, it's it's fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah. I have it for a bit, and then I'm like, this isn't fucking worth it. <laughs> the last bit, the last mouthful is. I always gag on it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, every time, every time. Coffee man, coffee monster. <laughs> Oh, you're a coffee. Uh, I've never been a big fan of coffee. Anyway, right, there well, they go. We've got the engagement sorted there. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Tell us down below. Tell us, <laughs> tell us what your favourite tea is. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, wow, Sol's team name is the Dulac Dakers. Brilliant. Oh, nice. <laughs> and he's got a Juggernaut Roger, a Strip a strip Wrestler, right? He's stacked on he's stacked for a Strip Wrestler, a Tackler and a Blocker. As Olivier Dulac has uh, spread out his, he really split out his, he split out his wrestle in his uh, strip, which has given him an additional sidestep. Got it for the one turn. Very nice. It's uh, easy for you to say, Jim. It, well, yeah, fuck off, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and seven uh, seconds. A guarder and a mighty blow, and they've both got a leader there. They've both got a leader, and they've both got thirteen players. Sol's benching a gutter for the one turn. They've both got three re rolls, and, and wait, Sol doesn't have an apple. Wait, what? Wait, what? How does Sol not have an apple? They've both got three. Oh, okay, Sol got four because of the leader. Yeah, okay, so Olivia Deluxe only got two, but the... I don't understand. I don't understand how they've both got... How Olivia Deluxe just has, a, has an extra thing. <gasps> oh my god, there's a blitz! No, he doesn't, because yeah, he's not on the pitch and his is, right? So that's what it is. It's it's Sol's. That's what it is, Jim. Sol's yeah. leader is off the pitch. But look at this, we start with a blitz. So hang on, can we just clarify who is red and who is blue? Olivia Dulac is red. Okay. okay. And Sol is blue, you can see. Cause, but Sol's team is <laughs> called the Dulac Dakers, just to make things confusing. But yeah. Sol is blue, kicking, and he's got himself a blitz. Uh, but... There every is. time with rats, honestly, Jim. Every time, <laughs> I mean, there's going to be so many blitzes in this game. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> but there's no way. There's no way through, is there? There's no way like to to properly. I mean, it's going to be. Yeah, you can't use dodge on a blitz either, can you? So it's so... like. <clears throat> yeah, defended against the blitz did Olivier Dulac. So this is quite cool. This is the number one ranked American coach. Um, in NAF. I mean, he he could have hit the mighty blow. He could have done, which is so. And he, he went would for the armor seven. As well. Yeah, he went for armor yeah. seven. But there you go. Yeah, Olivier Delac only got two re rolls. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's because it's because Sol's benched his leader. That's what confused me. So it is actually, it is. So Sol has three plus one, and Olivier Delac has two plus one. So basically, uh, Sol has swapped the apple for another re roll. Yeah, but apart from that, they've got the same teams. And, uh, and the funny thing is, is if, you, if you look where Sol's Roger is, he couldn't blitz with his Roger because he would have hit potentially strip <laughs> 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 wrestle gutter on it. <laughs> yeah, not the I play mean, you want to hit there. Not it? that you would have done, but like, yeah, if you ever play rats, um, mm -hmm. always consider the fact that your Roger shouldn't be next to one of your best players. Yes. Just in case. Yeah, very good point. Very good point. Uh, the but Yeah, I think I, I think I would have hit the mighty blow there. Even though it's higher AV, it's just it's a higher value target, right? But Yeah. It also makes it easier to get through. Oh my god, he's rolling all the dice on the blitz. And he it's, gets there. Yeah. Wow. I really hate doing that. Honestly, I hate it. Uh, I've seen Elliot do it. Other people do it. I, uh, I, just, I absolutely hate rolling the dice on a blitz like that. When you, when you actually haven't got dodge. A one in nine? But, uh, yeah, anyway, so Sol is the number one ranked American in NAF style Skaven and Olivia Dulac is number one ranked in the world NAF style Skaven so there you go they're two they're two top table oh, toppers no 
Okay, indeed. I mean, this is the best go. If that got powered and removed, then that was that was huge. It was, wasn't it? But there is no tackle on Olivia Delac's team. Do you know so. what? Do you know what, Jim? I might have put both those gutters in and made that a free dice on the. Uh... Yeah, I might have as well, and cage around I, that. Key. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might have made that three dice, Jim. Yeah, you're caging two squares further back, but you're getting three dice. Also, yeah, mate, could, you could he have freed the mighty blow to do the blitz? Because if he could have done, I would have also freed the mighty blow to he do could the have blitz. Done, he, like, he hit with the mighty blow, he could have just hit with the guards. Yeah. Oh, wow. Gets a badly hurt. Wait, on himself? Yeah, he, get, he, he badly hurt himself. I didn't see what happened. But... He did a one dice block? He did. Oof! The dimwit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing! <laughs> and he appos it. And now, yeah, now it was a good one. It was a good one. Crazy wow. start. Don't know. Maybe, uh. <laughs> what a dimwit! <laughs> what a dimwit! That was brilliant! <laughs> There's a couple, a couple of bits there I wasn't expecting from both lads, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, you can understand okay. like going a bit more like kind of high, high octane, right? Because it's not like versus a random in the ladder where you can just wait for them to be stupid, right? Like you, you probably got. Well, to yeah, make but I mean, work. one thing to point out about him not taking the hit with the mighty blow is now the guard is on the corner of the cage and yes. it's on the corner of the cage closer to the stripper. So I mean, yes. obviously he can just run around and go through the middle, but I, I guess that is a consideration. Yes. Yeah. That was. Yeah. That would be why he did it. Yeah. But. I think, yeah, I think I couldn't have resisted three dice with my Oh, blow. mate, yeah, three dice too with a mighty blow. Like, has that, mate? It's, it's, you're, you're, you're halfway there. <laughs> Living on a prayer. Exactly, Jim. That's exactly where I was going with that. <laughs> Is he going to blitz the Roger? I think he might. I think we're going to see some Roger on Roger action here, Jimbo. Maybe. Oh, he's rolled a pal. A full pal? Instant full pal? <laughs> Doesn't even break arm. Oh, do you have the circles for just one team? I oh, do. Yeah, I didn't turn it off. Thank you. I forgot Hang about on. that. Oh, right, I put that on for. I'll tell you why I put it on because it was some team. Uh, maybe humans or wood elves. You could, it's really hard to tell, isn't it? Wood elves. Who's, who who's anti circle? The <laughs> oh, Dementor. Yeah. Thanks, Dementor. No, that's what it was. It, it was. It was because. It was because of. Um, no, it was because of the Wood Elves, because it's just really... I, I can't tell which Wood Elf is a throw and which Wood Elf is a catcher. Here we go, Roger on Roger action. Gets the pow! Whoa. Timber! Not... Oh, he, he knocked him back. I guess he doesn't want him on the gutter runner. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and he doesn't want to... Doesn't, he's not going to foul him. I guess if he was going to foul him, maybe it would be worth the two extra assists, is it? No, only one or more assists. No, no, yeah, in that case, just keep it away from the gutter, yeah. Yep. He's not fouling him. What a fascinating start to this game, Jim. It is fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, good start for Sol, right? He got the Blitz and he's he's made a KO and a Kaz, so, like, he's two players up. Very strong. Can Olivier Dulac, like, haul it back and stall it out? Will he have to score early? Who knows? Will he be able to score at all? I mean... It's kind of like... Oh, oh, oh shit! Badly hurt. Rip the room. And there's, and there's no, no apple. apple. Yeah. There's no apple. Oh, well. That's huge. Yep, that's a swing back. That's a swing back the other way. <laughs> Equity shift. We are swinging. And that's so, that's so like... It, like Sol's probably going to find that a bit harsh because, like, obviously, Olivier just let him hit his Roger. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately gets up and smashes his Roger. Kaz. Yep. So... But we do have a tackle hit here, don't we? We've got tackle on tackle versus defenseless or tackle versus strip. Well, this is strip, so it's still defenseless. <laughs> so it gets to tackle the stripper yeah. and swarm the cage if he wants, oh, which I think he will. I think, I think he's going to go in will. now with the rat ogre down. Like, I think he's just going to go in. He might go full ham. I think he is going to. Yeah, I think he should, and I think he will. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like there's two mighty there's two mighty blows on Olivier's team and there's no no like um Apo for uh, Sol. Yeah. So he's on a clock. He is. 
360. Clearly not a chess cock though, Jim. Well, hey, <laughs> well, that's one thing, isn't it, with these NAF types? They, 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 some of them take their time, don't they? They're, you know, there's really... Uh, lately, I guess there's been more um, enforcement of chess clocks, but mostly table toppers, uh, there's, there's little... They get more more time than online, don't they? Yeah, the push. These NAF types. <laughs> That's the stripper, right? Oh no, he's got tackle, of course he has. Yeah, he's got tackle, yeah. Gets the armor break, but doesn't get anything more than a stun. Doesn't get the removal. Hello, Keith, this is NAF, this is NAF style. This is Euroball rules, except um, there are no inducements allowed because uh, the limitations of the client, essentially. Um, Did they get any packs? Yeah, yeah, just the one point packs. A one point Which pack. I don't think anybody. No, yeah, yeah. Somebody used the stacking, right? Sol's used the stacking. Sol has a wrestle, wrestle uh, stripper here. So Sol utilised the stacking, and I think Art did as well. Art stacked mighty blow tackle. So I think two people have used the packs. Yep. He's got to base the stripper in because he? he's just going to blitz him with mighty blow and hand off to the stripper. No. Yeah, you'd think so, but maybe you know. He needs to get over to that rogue. That gutter runner wants to get off that roger as well. Well, hey, don't we all? Early. Early, Jim. <laughs> yeah, he's, he has got to. We'll leave it last because it's a 1 in 9, isn't it? So. Yeah, but then he's got. Then he's got. Gets the it. 2D with the line rat, and then he's got the roger blitz on the tackle. Mm, I don't know. I, I like getting. I mean, it's better than the roger just three dice in your gutter, isn't it? I think. Yeah. And then how does he keep the ball safe for next turn? Like this is a this is a pickle for Olivier here, isn't it? A, yeah, it's a little Eight bit players. of a pickle. But there, there is one significant problem to this strategy, and that is the fact that the rats could all just explode. An that's instant one in nine, yeah. That's uh... no pal, no pal. See, this is the problem he has, he has to follow to free the square for the roger, and then the roger might hit the guard. So he's done what I thought he might. Yeah. He's gonna, yeah, powder tackle, and then he's gonna step in on the top right corner. No, maybe. Up here. No armor break on that. Ooh. Oh, so he gets the two dice of the guard. Yeah. yeah. And then follows, and then he's gonna like run him. And he's got two gutters, two gutters. That oh yeah, to dodge him. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's gonna rely on the three plus dodge from the mighty. Well, he might one D with the mighty blow, so. Oh, that's not. No, it's not. Oh, the guards there. The guards there. There's... Yeah, I mean, this is still. Where's the stripper? He's right up the back, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's kept him deep in case of a handoff potato, I guess. All these tails. Yeah, the tails are pretty mesmerising. Yeah, they. They're oh, they're really doing well into him, honestly. Man. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> an unnecessary distraction. Like... You'll find yourself falling asleep if you if you keep looking at the tail. Brain fog. <laughs> this is not what I envisioned. It does take the one D with the mighty blow. Mm. <clears throat> I I feel like there's gonna be dice on the ball here, Jimbo. There's definitely gonna be dice on the ball, Dimbo. But uh how many dice and what will happen? It's interesting. Oh, he's going to put the reroll in on that. I mean, I don't Oof. see this. I guess this what? Dodging out and then going up. There's still potentially two dice in the ball. Um, potentially, I was, you know, some dice rolls and stuff. I don't know how feasible it is, but. He's got to do a 2D with a gut. What, do you mean coming in through the bottom left corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, yeah. you can, you can, you can push this and then pow yeah. this and then assist from there. And cancel that, and then blitz there on two D. He might even here. uphill with a triple Start wrestle. As well. Yeah, he could also just hit uphill. Yeah, he's got lots of options, hasn't he? I guess he'll think about it a bit. Well, the thing is, is if he does the uphill with the wrestle stripper, then he doesn't need to activate. His he doesn't even need to, to push that guy out the way. To throw a dimbo. Dimbo. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about, I'm talking about the gutter below him. You don't even need to bother hitting the gutter below him. You just hit the rat on the left and then come in through the sides. And then you've got more rats left to activate. Yeah, but he's a thrower though, Dimmy. So you'd oh, have to... Oh, he's got short hands. Yeah. yeah so who oh, are you going to blitz him hands. with just a lineman for a 1D, which isn't yeah. super exciting. But could be the play. I guess. Are there any chains on here? 
I don't think so. Well, there is, but it's just not worth it. Oh, yeah, yeah, to... yeah there is. No, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah, you can push, the gut, you can push no. the gut on and follow, and then, and, then, and then he needs to knock that line right out of the way, and then he's he can... He's got the box with a tackle guy. Why are you being so fucking obsessed with well, he, can, he can blitz the guarder the and then push him and, back into and, here. And, like, you can't even play the better one with the team. Do. Uh, you just side play oh, more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it, I see it. Why the fuck then, everyone play that much you, Then you've used Jesus your blitz, Christ. so that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, but you can punch him with this guy, so... I mean, you've got to, you oh, it looks like he... It looks... I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea, Jim. I'm completely... Oh, no, no, no. He's going to do the 2D on the line, mate. I don't get this one. I don't. I don't get this move into here. This is a, he's gone behind the ball with this with a gutter runner, a block gutter runner behind the ball, which I well, don't this understand. Is, this is uh, uh, this uh, this is just to tie shit up. I think. Oh, he, he must be failed. blocking this guy. He must be blocking this guy. He's blocking the right on the left. Yeah. 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 And then he's gonna he's gonna blitz. He's gonna one with deep the, blitz. The line right behind him. So I'm mm. assuming the problem is is he has to move this gut. If he got the power, he doesn't have to move the gutter. But now he's yeah, gonna have to move the gutter move out of the way, gutter, yeah. which is a shame. But say la vie, may we, may we? Oh, he's, oh yeah, follow's fine. Yeah, he has to follow. No, no, he doesn't have to. He can just, yeah, you, no. you kind of have to follow because you don't want him to leave him alone, do you? Right, yeah, here we go, go. 1D, a blockless 1D. You definitely take the both down all day. Do you? Yeah, he does. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, it's versus rats, they're just going to pick it up, but I guess, yeah, fair enough. Balls on the dick, Jim. Balls on the dick. Plus, the, yeah, plus he's got the stripper, hasn't he? So, like, even though, like, normally that's not so good against rats because they'll just pick it up with a gutter. Um, yeah, fair enough. Plus he could have... Uh, block, could have cast block. Him. Turn four for Olivier Dulac. I mean, imagine he cast the thrower there. That would have been huge. It would have been massive, yeah. It would have been huge. Yeah, yeah he's got the reroll advantage. He couldn't, he couldn't reroll that hit, right? He couldn't reroll it nah, and they're both yeah. down. I mean, it's good enough, isn't it? It's like, it slows him down. <clears throat> the thing is, is that Olivier doesn't have a scoring threat yet either, so you've got time. And there's a stripper down the back end, and you won't be able to blitz him. So yeah, this is this is a bit of a pickle. A bit it's of a, a pickle. Huge, it's a huge pickle, Jim. It's uh, it's oh. a full on, it's a full on Wally, mate. That's what it is. <laughs> it's an Elliot sized pickle. It's a it's a Wally, mate. It's one of those jumbo ones from the chip shop. Mmm. God, I haven't been to a chip shop in years. Have you not? No. I just eat. It's the ball pow on the blodger. <laughs> I just eat oh. bro chicken broccoli and rice, don't I? Oh, it's just a stun. I mean, that's the stun's pretty good. I mean, it's better than a non-armor break, yeah, Jim. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good at this point. Oh, he's freed the Rogar, so he's hit with the guard there. Jimmy, don't can... forget, Sol's down the Rat Ogre, right? So, like, stuns are making a huge disparity in strength. I've never forgot, Jim. <laughs> and that's three yeah. stuns in one turn. I've never forgot anything in my life. Haven't you? No. Oh. Oh, what's he going over there? Because that's what he's going to cage. Oh, yeah, because the guy's stun there. Maybe should have moved uh, the gut there first. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. sloppy. Because he's better to be stood up over there than lying down there, probably, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the dodge out is fine. That was a pretty solid turn from mm. Olivier. I mean, he, he made three stuns, which certainly <laughs> certainly made it more solid. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, like, obviously, yeah, he wouldn't have been able to do it had he not stunned that right on the floor. But now this is just like a kind of a really reset turn it. for Sol, isn't it? Just got to try and hope he can stay in it after this. Well, more importantly, he's eating down the clock as well. Like I was, you were talking about scoring and all that craziness. Rat Ogre <laughs> hasn't hit his own rat yet either, which is pretty great. Mm. Rat Ogre's having the game of his life. Kaz the Roger got a stun. <laughs> I like the uh, customization with the old green glowing dots on him as well. Pretty nice. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? A bit of warp stone. Be beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful oh, cores. Oh, and this was a stand up as well. Oh, that's brutal. I was thinking, like, actually, you know, if you can knock him down and knock him down and ain't get back through, but he can't even knock this guy down because it's. Uh... Oof. Can he do it, Captain? He doesn't have the power. <laughs> 
In that case, I wonder if uh, doing this block first, hoping for the power, and then blitzing the gutter, and then coming back to assist the block was maybe bad. How many rats are there? Two, four... Oh, I guess they're all stunned, aren't they? He's yeah, exactly. Got... Three stuns is massive, man. That was a massive He's turn. got nine players, it's just three of them are stunned, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's he hit with? Yeah, he's gone with a non-tackle, yeah. Yeah, he's got to get his tackle. See, this is where Ooh. like people are oh, block, was block. And it's like, well, you got to free up the geezer with tackle. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about that. I would have gone back with a tackle. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. I don't know. Or if any, maybe he just gets tagged off a lineman, though, yeah. I don't know, though. Like, with the stuns, I think I go backwards. Without the stuns, I'd probably go there and then pile on the pressure. Mm -hmm. But it's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I think without with with the stuns happening, I think I'd go back there and then scream. More defensive. Got to... You want to reset. Yeah, you want to yeah. reset. Because yeah, the thing is, is Olivier is just going to move off of all these stun guys next turn if you let him. Mm. Right. I and, don't know. And you've got, like, you know, you having having guys behind the ball is really bad, right? Like he's got three players behind the ball as it is. Yeah. Um, which isn't good. Hello there. Hello. Hello. It's the Baron, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Bit, of course. I'm a little bit upset, Jim. Like, uh, I see some, some, you know, escape and sexy time on your channel, and I'm not even invited. Like, what is this? Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds in the audio, that's a gentle voice, it's, it's something, isn't it? <laughs> uh, God damn it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I just going right over. Thought I'd join in for a bit, Go if you don't mind. On. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course not. Welcome, Chunts. The expert, the rat oh, I thought this is the roger. Oof. I would have gone in next to that gutter and that line, I think, but oh. I guess... Uh... We have we have an epic matchup here, right? Like Saul, who I who I think is like you know the the second best Skaven coach out there versus Olivier Dulac, who I think is the second best Skaven coach out there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty pretty amazing matchup to see. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. BBSO is uh, legit. <laughs> it's glorious, guys. Is he going to dodge the mighty blow? I've been stand. so fucking no, obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday and you. And like you can't even fucking qualify. Why do you dodge the mighty blow before the gutter? Oh, does he just want to keep the, the tackle there? Why the fuck would anyone I don't like that on the stripper rats. though. Jesus Christ. There we go. We've got we've got chunks for you. <laughs> I think I would have dodged the stripper first, no? Um, I don't know. I wasn't watching. I was trying to find a picture of chunk. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> and he, I guess he just wants to keep the tackle there. I, I mean, there's obviously a reason for it, but. Yeah, it's quite because you don't want to tackle it to punch people, yeah. It's it's you don't want to tackle it to punch a stripper. <laughs> yeah, well, no, you just want the tackler like, to run back, like that's why I'd have run him back last yeah, time. Yeah, no, no, I get it, I get it, yeah. but it's just like... In fact, he's caged exactly where I'd have put the tackler. <laughs> that's a matchup, like, it, it, it's kind of a ruined matchup for, like, um, for Soul, isn't it? Because having that Red Ogre removed is just such a big yeah. factor in these kind of matchups, like Skaven versus Skaven, you just need the Ogre. Oh! Dead, 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 though! Oh. You also need Dead's your strip big. ball gutter, so... My, sh yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my stripper would have been alive, Jim, just quietly. <laughs> I don't know, I think you might have yeah. you might have killed and buried him in the desert, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, um... <laughs> I did invite him to yes, but at, that, at the point that I invited him, he's like, "No, I've uninstalled Blood Ball. I'm never going to play again." Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, that's... and now he's playing again. <laughs> that, that took a bit longer than expected. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It always gets you. The the thing is, like, I was like, I, I just got to play a freaking team that I don't care about with attrition, and I'm like, I'm now just playing Underworld, which is. Which is making me very happy at the moment. Like I'm, I'm enjoying the game. Again. I'm surprised you managed to play anything other than knobs, honestly. <laughs> like, like, you, once, once you've played knobs, like that's it. There's, there's nothing else. There's nothing else like it. Oh, it's such a lovely team. Knobs is such a lovely team to play. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's that just joy so shit made. for this ladder format. So oh, much cool. joy when you get that turn and they just roll pushes and you just stand firm everywhere, fend everywhere, and you're just like, yes! <laughs> oh my I god, really it's peak blood bowl. Peak blood bowl. I think they are <laughs> trash. 
Demi lost his standing throw. I'm fans uh, as well. I'm fans. I'm Nothing fans. like it. This, 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 this <laughs> makes me so warm and gooey inside. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no, they're good, aren't they? They're like good rats. So. It's Man, um, this has been a full pressure half. It has, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's. I, I think he's had, kind of had no choice once he lost the roger, right? And like, the, yeah, I agree. Yeah. The rats did were deep, and that he had options to do things. So, did, did you expect it to go down this 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 way between these these two? Because we we do expect like Soul to generally be a, a little bit more on the passive Aggressive. side compared to. Yeah, but not 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 like. Man, he just did a four plus. <laughs> Fucking blitz, man! Jeez. Against cages and all that, and I've I've seen him like hunt for the ball throughout the game, which is which is quite nice to see, which is quite cool to see from my mm. perspective. I think he just played to the situation. I, I thought it was like I think I think as somebody who's never played Skaven, that <laughs> that the games are quite like quite reactive, aren't they? And you've got to like yeah. you've just got to you've got to play to whatever happens. And ooh, here we go, the big three plus. And he fails it, and it, that's it. Oh my god, T fails the team reroll. A snake. And there's a car in scoring range. A snake. There's oh a gutter in god. scoring range. It's turn six, though. I don't think he's going to score this no, turn. No, he's not going to score, but, uh, but he's going to run out of range. Huge. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. huge. He's just going to pick it up on one gutter and give it to the other one. Mega. But yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> the, I didn't understand cool. the four plus blitz. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, mate. If you fail, like, I mind you, if he fails that, then he's probably still got the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two Good. plus blitz, though, right, Dimmy? Because he's hitting them. No, no, no. He didn't have anyone next to him, so it's a four no. plus animal savagery roll. No, it's a two oh. plus still. You know. Oh right, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? Yeah. yeah. But if he fails, he would have gone stupid. This, he yeah, he loses yeah. all his tackle zones and his blitz. Which, uh, yeah. This is partly the success of, of Sol having his like wrestle strip ball player there, right? Like um, having the wrestle strip ball player kind of forces um, Olivier to carry on the on the on the thrower in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and now he has to he's forced to do an edgy play with the thrower, and loses the ball. Like if that was a gutter just carrying there, like you know you have a whole different game, you have a whole different matchup. Yeah. Um, and to be it's fair, uh, you know, Sol's lost the Roger, but also Olivier Dulac lost, you know, down three players now, right after he's that. Lost removal, so, yeah. He's lost the shipper. He's lost the shipper, which means Sol doesn't have to carry on the, the thrower, he can carry on the gutter. Yeah, so, yeah. On the bludge gutter. The bludge so. gutter, yeah, huge, huge removal. It's, yeah. Like, another, yet another swing, Jim. Mm. What an exciting game. Very swingy, isn't it? I mean, rats are always swingy. Like, this is, the, this is why I don't like them. Yeah. This is why I don't like them and why I never want to play them because they're just swinging and they'll always. It's an emotional roller coaster of <laughs> yes. doom and despair. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how either of you play, the game will come down to critical dice rolls one way or the other, you know? Uh, and, and, and readjusting. The one will readjust the best to it. Like, I wonder why you did and that. And didn't get pick, it I, I would have picked it up on the rookie and handed it off to the blodger. Yeah. Because he how can't though? get out. How? The ball was like here, right? Oh, he's, so 1, 2, yeah, no, 3, 4, he was 5, in 6, range. 7, 8. Yeah, and then hand off. Yeah, and then just hand it, it off to the blodger. Man, and then the blodger can just run out of range of everyone. Mm, I guess he just wanted two gutters down here. He wanted yeah, two gutters down here, right? Four massive raid from Seabros. Glorious. Thank you very much. Hello, Hargrim. Hello, Seabros Raiders. Four. Welcome to. I guess, yeah. yeah I BBSL know. Rat Mirror with the Rat Baron on comms. Wowie. Yeah, I figured I should jump in. You know, it's been a while. <laughs> it has, it's yeah. been a while. Um, the, the biggest Blood Bowl streamer on kick. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I, I heard I heard Mr. Page is multi-streaming towards Kick now, so like is he, uh, yeah? I guess I guess even that is not uh, not a thing anymore. Oh, diced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's rolled ah, another one. Thanks, Panther. Um, I don't know, like it, you know, like whenever I feel like picking up streaming again, now maybe maybe I'll pick it up again at some point. But like it's uh, it's not been a thing recently. Mm. Right, there you go. I'm sharing the screen if you want to see things live. Dimmy Excellent. doesn't mind and just has his delay, but uh, you know, if you want it I live, like, you can... I like the delay. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on. I, I have my client on. I'm ah. watching it through the client. 
professional, professional, professional yeah, it's a proper, proper. <laughs> I was character. like, I was Ooh. like, I, I, I was surprised to join them, but I first got to find like the client match because otherwise, uh, I'm sitting here, you know, talking out of my ass. <laughs> Not a good Fuck thing. Off, <laughs> oh, he might be scoring. Uh, mm -hmm. Nah, he's, he's just gonna block. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't re-roll that. I think that was worth it. You're on, you're only filling a double score, right? And like, it's pretty good to do it. <laughs> I guess he's gonna bring the gutter back and then just block with this gutter. And he, like, if he powers, he's he's pretty safe, right? But if he doesn't power, he's well, Olivier, he's gonna dodge then. Olivier doesn't. You know, have to go. I mean, if he's gonna dodge, you're better off re-rolling the hit, right? There is there is a thing to be said about handing it off to the blocker instead. Ah yeah instead of okay watching. yeah yeah okay okay but still you're still better off re-rolling the hit than dodging right because you'd rather double yeah. skull than double on the dodge. Yeah no. yeah I hate I hate dodging here like well mm. compared to the other moves I hate dodging here mm. <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's too easy to just um, you just lose the ball that way and then you know give give. Well, if you like the swing that you just got, yeah, in a way. Oh, he's just gone there for a punch. I think I liked, you know, making a GFI and then dodging this guy off and then, like, you know, really trying to secure the stall. But, um, I don't know, maybe not. Like, maybe I'm overreacting. It's what a four plus three plus at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Four, three, two to hit the ball. It's not ridiculous, is it? So, I would have liked to have brought some people back. Oh, here we go. Oh, he doesn't make the second one. I think you need to make the second GFI there. One. Oh, so it's not easy to re roll here. Four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. I don't think you can do three. Oh, three, three, wait. Oh, through here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. I don't know how you no. make it a three, three. Two, two. I think you have to do a four three two. Do you think Chiagan's right? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I think Chiagan has movement eight. You, you want to you want to you want to two D the the ball carrier here though, right? Like if you have any chance. So yeah, I think you have to. Probably, just... It's probably it's probably four three. Yeah. Four three and then the four five six seven two two four three two two. Yeah. With the uh, with the blitzer. Oh, he's not doing it. Huh? Understandable. Like if you if you can if you can remove something, mm. it's also fine. Well, the tackle. Yeah. As bad as it is, like <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, because I mean you get some you... equity that way. Yeah. Yeah. Going for the blitz on the bl the blitz on the blitzer. Oh, it would have been so funny if he cast his own rank doing that. <laughs> it would have been, yeah. After like, oh yeah, I've, I've conceded the touchdown, I'm just going to go for some attrition. <laughs> he did, he killed his own guy. The KO, there we go. He took attrition. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, well done, settling for attrition, son. <laughs> so what you can do is here, you can fill in all the squares, then you can blitz him into a follow-up oh. extra hit, but that, that'd be blockless, so I don't think you want to block this even on 3D, so... Yeah, 2k right. We're looking a little bit ahead here, but now, in this particular situation, as much as I hate the Daka, <laughs> if, there is, if there is a call for it, like, there's this one, like, being 1-0 up, in a very relaxed position, like, forcing your opponent to come after you, because he has to, he has no choice, mm. this is this is the position to do it. Yeah, Daka is when you want to look really good, yeah, because it, it forces them to kind of play badly, doesn't it? It forces them to, like, come after you and then leave all that space in behind them. Is this 11 against 11? Uh, one kill comes back, so, yep, still 11 um, for both sides. But quality-wise, Sol is no down a rat ogre. Olivia de yeah. is down a strip gutter runner. So, uh, yeah. Like, and, and another factor for the Daka is... is um, so Sol is going to lack pitch control here because he doesn't have the Roger anymore. So like, he's he's not going to control the center here. Like you can you can't expect him to be able to control the center here with a Roger just being able to hit everything. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't hate it. Again, like I wouldn't hate it in this situation. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's spicy. I thought you, I thought you hate good. the Daka. I I. I do. I, I do. I'm not a fan of the Dakar. I'm not a fan of the Dakar at all. In a normal situation, I would say like if you're zero zero, ah, it's it's There's a glaring is not problem. My... There's a glaring problem with this setup, though. <laughs> yeah. 
What's that, Dimmy? The Blitz. <laughs> yeah. He can move his whole front line. <laughs> oh my god. It's an interesting question, isn't it? If you put somebody to stop the Blitz, or one got her. Put one got her on the on the on the Roger, the the Blitzer and the an alignment. Just one got her. Well, oh, three did. plus off. Yeah, but then it's a three mm. plus, isn't it? The tail makes it annoying. If you didn't have a tail, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you, you 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 do it at the end of the turn. You t you take it as like a, a willing sacrifice. You take a little rookie gutter and you just oh. you just do it. It's just scary, isn't it? It's well, he's scary. doing it with a he's doing it with a line or. Yeah, but now you have two players left that can still move. Like it's. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah I'd still put him in the middle. middle. Yeah, I'd still put him. Yeah, in the middle. if you're gonna if you're gonna put one there, you put him in the middle. He's only putting two on the. Mm -hmm. Does he know the rules of football? <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> uh, just frantically, <laughs> frantically <laughs> pressing, <laughs> finish set up. What the fuck's out. going on? We're gonna, to, we're gonna need to restart the game. Mate. I've got an error. <laughs> I've got a bug. <laughs> they won't let me start the drive. With two players on the LOS. Oh man, is it gonna put a random player on? Okay, few. He saw. He saw the error of his ways. Oh no, there's one on the bench, isn't there? Oh no, there we go. Uh, yeah, I, I, I still don't love this. I really want like a, a player on all. I mean, it's uh, like yeah, it's yeah. They can't, they can't break through though, can they? Those two, so it's not too bad. Oh, like if the ball goes in the end zone, then like, it's interesting. Quick snap. So now he gets to go back with these two and make it a full. For, oh, he's gone forward for an extra block, <gasps> and then blitz the gutter. Oh, spicy. Blitz a defenseless gutter is good, isn't it? Because obviously you could you could have blitzed the defenseless sidestepper, but then he could get surfed if he doesn't power it. Could blitz the wrestler, but it's not it's not ideal to blitz a wrestler, is it? Whereas now I blitz the wrestler, I think. It's actually he's done this wrong, hasn't he? If he if he could have he could have swapped these, and then he could have blocked that way, and then he could have blitzed. Now he can't actually blitz that gutter. So I would like I would like in these setups to have like um, the thrower in the back. By the way, I know he's gonna daka, like yeah. Probably, but still, like having the thrower in the back leaves like an option to when when a quick snap happens like this, for example, leaves an option to you know maybe rethink and and do other things than than your primary plan. Mm -hmm. Now you have to still perform the primary plan in my my opinion. Yeah, because the ball's just all the way over there. Yeah, primary plan is the best plan in blood ball, isn't it? The Dakar, gotta love the Dakar. What whatever happens, just always go for the primary plan. Never change plan in. Uh, Yes. yes. I mean, you could take that one step further and just never have a plan. Like that's that's how I roll. <laughs> Even better, don't have a plan. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do things randomly. If you see my setup, so like Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've never had a plan. I've never had a plan in any in any game I've ever played. There you go. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Jim. Yeah. No, I mean that's just true. You know, forty k Warhammer. Uh, Mordheim, Blood Bowl, obviously Necromunda. I've just, I've never just had a plan. I've just always like, you know, completely uh, magic. Always just completely reacted to what my opponent's done. Oh, you just used magic. Oh, okay. I just no, I just react to what my opponent does. Like always. <laughs> like I, I technically one time I used a fucking shitty tempered steel deck in Magic where you just brainlessly play play your hand out, vomit your hand out. <laughs> so I guess that counts as a counts as a plan. <laughs> Yeah, always just completely. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. He's got four rerolls. He get? Oh no, because he's had a leader in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got three rerolls, no and Olivia Dilak has two plus an apple. There's no overtime here, right? I assume. No overtime. Nah, it's no, a draw. No. Draws a draw. Draws a draw. I'm not a jazz guy, no, I'm not, I'm not a jazz guy. I, I couldn't be more anti-jazz <laughs> if I tried. <laughs> so actually, he can still hit the gutter, he's just got to run all, he's got to move the gutter first, hasn't he, and not go all the way around, three, four, five, six, seven, but then he just gets blitzed, so maybe he just blitzed the wrestler still anyway. He could free dice him, to be fair. Hmm. Yeah, I fucking hate jazz. Like, I literally hate it. <laughs> it's about pretty much the only type of music that I don't like. Jesus Christ, man. Soul is a lot slower than I thought. Yeah. He's used to half his time, man. He's American, isn't he? Hey, just banter, just banter. 
<laughs> just back here. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a tough game, right? It's a little bit of like, you know. He, he's, yeah, he's yeah. trying his hard, and he, you know, Sol really wants to try his hard. Like, this is the well. first turn. I mean, <laughs> it's not like, this is it's a bit excessive. Like, from him, I mean, from his perspective, like it's a, it's a game like that. He in his eyes, he could only lose right now, right? Like mm -hmm. it's a winning game, and yeah, he could yeah, basically yeah, yeah. fuck it up. And then so it's he's gonna, gonna get, take his time. It's gonna get more complicated than this. Yeah. But also, the the kind of first turn's the most important in a way as well, isn't it? You know, like the the stabilization phase, etc. So like you know, the, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot of time he's taken. Yeah, he wants to be careful. Otherwise, this is it's just gonna time. add pressure when he does it. Like he's, he's gonna need to think like there's gonna be pressure applied in the next like t couple of turns. That are gonna be it's gonna be way more than this. This is just yeah. like get you guys roughly in the right place and. Chill. But then that's the, the that's the thing though, Dimmy. Right? Like okay, not not the extent Sol's gone to here, but I'm kind of the same as you, right? I've got two minutes and I get my players roughly in this right place in thirty seconds. So I, I know a, a, like a hole in my game is I should take the extra minute and a half and make sure I get you know slightly you better. Don't squares. take the extra seven minutes. Though, no, exactly. I'm, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's, <laughs> there's something in between me and Sol here. Uh, yeah. It's it's a general thing you see within the community. I think a lot of people should take a little bit more time sometimes because what they leave on the table at times is. Uh, He's got two minutes Stop twenty. It. That was like a five minute turn, man. Yeah, that was a long like, turn, yeah. And it's not even that good. Like he's got the double screen, but he doesn't need a double screen because he's out of range of everything. So it's like it's just bonkers. Yeah. Yeah. He should I, I would prefer I now. prefer holding the line high, like having the double chevrons like high, having the ball drop back because he's just given Olivier all this space to move into now. Whereas like if you're holding oh, yeah. the higher line and. You're like, because he's just opening the pitch instead of closing the pitch, and you want to kind of like close off his options. Yeah, he's kind of committing to a side now already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Like... He's, he's, he's gonna obviously push down the left side and stuff, but like. But yeah, letting your opponent know that in his way. It's... Well, he's just let he's let the whole right side move. Like all these four rats don't even need to be in his half. They could all be like screened off, like, and he could have the ball deep, which can't be hit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I hate I hate committing players to defend the ball when the ball doesn't need defending because it's out of range of everything. <laughs> yeah. Having the ball out of range is the best way to defend the ball because you've got your other ten players to do other things. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and not like, everybody's base. Literally like, everybody's base, right? Like this is how you lose, right? This is why, you know, one of the reasons Chunter hates the Dakar and stuff and the one of the reasons lots of people have a go at the Dakar is if things go wrong, you've almost certainly gonna get scored on because you're right near your own your own end zone your and own end zone. literally That's every true, single yeah. player has been tagged, so everything needs dice from here. Yeah. Which is not good, is it? And this this was always gonna happen, wasn't it? It was always gonna be like full aggression. Mm -hmm. But you know, like what you said, like, like, like committing so many players to the left side, those are players that are not helping in the back line now. They, they could, you know, slow down yeah, a bit. Yeah, and they're out of range to help as like well. This. You can't even do like a free plus to get <laughs> relative. You're just yeah. out of the game. Yeah. Like, yeah, these three that's... players could be like here, here and here, couldn't they? And then they wouldn't have been based and they could go and help do things, yeah. I mean, the argument is he's got a scoring threat and what have you, do you know what I mean? Like, It wouldn't surprise me if Sol does something mental here, goes for the free plus handoff and then like to that gutter runner and then legs it down the pitch. Yeah. Which I think we may see. But you know, like, as, as mental as people think I am, like, not knowing or not having to, in some situations, not having to do the crazy dice is, is pretty nice, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that. that's what I was saying, like, I, I'm not calling that sole rookie player at all, but, like, that's what, like, when you, when you play on ladder, you see rookie players who cage the ball, like, five squares off their own end zone. And, yeah. like, you're like, you don't need to do that because you're just losing five players, like, and you're going to lose the fight everywhere else because you, you, <laughs> you're caging a ball that doesn't need caging, right? Just, yeah. Yeah. Funny enough, saying he's going to be, he's going to have more complicated positions. He got one instantly, and now he's already used a minute and forty-five of his turn, and he's down to two minutes time bank. Well, this is it. Yeah, this is it. So, <laughs> well, I don't like that. The, the up hand You've off. got to go in there, right, for this block. You can't. Why? I why think, are you standing in here? I think Oliver wishes he had my logo right now from the from the from the letter. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's because he's gone. Nice. Okay, well, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't think it was worth. Risking it, I, w I would have rather got him in first, make the block, and then close that corner afterwards. 
Uh, Even though it exposes a better player. Is he going to blitz with that line, right? Step into the gutter and then do a dodge off with someone else to give him the second assist. Yeah, yeah. Looks yeah. like it, yeah. Injured! Oh. Huge. I mean, only a line rat, but still. <laughs> it's pl numbers, isn't it? There's, they're both on 10 now. Doesn't get the power. Yeah, it's, it's, it's generally a good thing to talk about, because I don't think a lot of the community gets like um, these kind of situations where there's a difference between um, roles you want to make and roles you have to make. And that was a turn where there's a, a lot of roles you have to make in order to defend the ball there. And... I, I think a lot of the, yeah. Um, he hasn't, yeah. He hasn't got the he hasn't got the the second assist on this yet. So he's got to do the dodge with the tackle now, yeah. and he has to make that. And the push means is that a GFI? No, it's not GFI. Well, there you go. Yeah. He gets the dodge, gets the pal. But the Rattog is going to be on the ball next turn. He's just going to blitz that line right and base the ball with the Rattog. <clears> it's going to be tail on there. The, and then the it's throw might get in. there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double GFI. D three, three, two, two. <laughs> three, three, two, two to base him. Or he could just 1D the guard, I think. I think he's got... A, like The guard runner is going to be on the ball next turn. Provided... No, he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it. I, I honestly didn't hear the dodge, the double dodge, <laughs> double GFI. Because yeah, the roger is a problem, isn't it? It's, it's first good. action doesn't bother standing people up. <laughs> Let's see what happens oh. with the blitz. The push is actually, he wants to <clears throat> the power on the first one. Oh, we've got the bug of the constant ticking croc. That's annoying, isn't it? Sold on 34 think, of his time bank. I think Oliver had to take a little bit of time there to just, you know, play the turn normally. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, now he's picked this guy up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> now he's standing his players up. He's like, rah! Roger instant. <laughs> that was a bit... Uh... Go, to, go to next to the Roger. Yeah, yes, fantastic. yeah. Yeah, yeah really and this next um, turn is going to be way more complicated and Sol's got 34 seconds after these yeah. two minutes to sort it out. Yep. Yep, not good. Not good for Solly. Solly Wally. Okay, so Ly Lyman on Lyman to the right. And then Froer on the Lyman in the back. Classic and then joke. you can move yeah, the cutter if you want to. <clears throat> yeah. I think he has kind of Beautiful. Got his defense. Yeah, that's 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 how you set it up. So the maximum pressure there on uh, on Sol. Um, could see an uphill on the Roger here. Is he uphill in the Roger? I think uphill in the Roger is pretty good. Yeah. With the tackle, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is not pretty good, but. <laughs> 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 um, oh well, he's got a plan. Oh, I would start yeah, with the with the with the blitzer without tackle, right? And then you can maybe one D the side side one to see if you can get a powder. Yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna uphill. Like there's you, you could go here and then one D with a tackler, right? You could move a gutter there and then one D with a tackler. Well no, 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 can't he oh he, he can Oh yeah, I don't know. And then and then if you power him, this one could then blitz do you know what I mean? Like, so you've got think you've got options to go down that sideline, but I guess I mean, he's just going to dodge away. It's a three yeah. plus, like it's eight times out of nine. It works. Oh, wait, well, it's, it's why Olivier is one nil down because of a three plus, right? Yeah, yeah. but eighty nine percent of the time it works, doesn't it? So you don't want to have to do it, but it's you know, it's not like an auto lose or anything. <laughs> I'll be watching a lot of my gameplay. See how he uphill properly there. <laughs> Good job. Now oh, he's going to come over here. Here! Yeah, now the right is tagged as well, which is... It's the pow? Pow's the cutter. It is Skaven Murray, yep. Two of the top-ranked NAF players in the world. Very exciting. Do you just stand up and then dodge somebody else? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he can't yeah, reach there. Yeah, the guy off the thrower, right? Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. You gotta close the door there. You can't. He can't leave that on a. Yeah. Oof. Okay, there's a chance. Did he, uh, did he reroll and fail? He did, yeah. Yeah, he must. Have. Yeah, you have to. You have to close the door. You can't. Yeah. Uh... 
Yeah. I like to leave the door open for you, Crystal. La <laughs> la. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, it's just a 3 plus for a 2D, isn't it? But it's not a tackle, so it's uh It's a guaranteed pal. <laughs> it's a guaranteed pal. There's no tackle, oh, so it's Well, he's oh. failed the dodge. He's made the dodge. 2D. He's got the pal. I told you. Guaranteed, mate. Ooh, oh, three tackle zones, but... Oh, no, you can... Again, again something I wouldn't do first action, though. I would I would take the hit on the... on the. Well, we can scatter this, right? It's all right. Build it off. This. It's gonna. Oh, nice. A one day. I, don't know I, 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 yeah. I like doing it first because I feel like if you one in nine the dodge, you just lose, right? Regardless of what you've done before. It. So oh, I'd yeah. rather do the block. I'd rather do the blitz yeah, first and it, see what I've got to react to. Yeah, that's a good chance that you lose. But like, you, you gain some equity by hitting here first and then moving the line right back. Yeah, Both you side. get a tiny bit on the on the chance that you fail. You're gaining equity if you fail. Oh my god! I, I thought he wouldn't stand it up because of the uh, because of the gutter, but oh, he made that block first. Oh, oh look! Oh my god! He's gonna bite his gutter. <laughs> but he'd already I done hate that block. The way so that was he, good like, play gets by up, him. Knocks him over and then flops back over. That pisses me off so much. Oh my god! Yeah. There's the cutter. There's the little jiggle oh. into the hands of the flower. Flip oh, he does. He had to it's in three happens. tackle zones. He, could, he couldn't leave it on the floor versus rats, could he? So like, you can't. But then he had a sidestep on it. Like that's the thing, isn't it? It's... Oh, he's got the guard there at least. Oh, he's one in nine. Mm. Do you think he should have based the thrower here first? Maybe, maybe he, it's a little he, bit he, too he, much. He put his thrower on the thrower. Yeah, yeah, but before the scatter, like. Yeah, oh, so he, he could pick up the wrestler, right at the end. But no, but the thrower is going to pick it up if he got the right scatter, right? That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, because there's the there's the strip ball, isn't he? He's got wrestler strip right there, yeah, so you yeah. really want it on the Ooh. thrower. Ooh. He did that. Is that line wrap three that's on the far left that's standing up? Was he? Oh, did he already activate it? This one. This is looking pretty know. good for Sona. Sona because of yeah, the, yeah, that one too. Yeah. The rogue are just being on an island here. Yes. Like being on an absolute island. Yeah. And he's oh, mate, up. it's so <laughs> funny if he just throws the pass. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's got the handoff and stuff, right? Like, obviously not really now, but, like, do you know what I mean? That, that's always an option, isn't it? To just to just bez off, like, is a pretty strong there's option. A, there's a chain. There's a chain. Yeah, but he, he doesn't have to. He can just run with the rogue. I know, yeah. I, I said he's not going to right now, but, like, you know, the, like the, because he's 1-0 up, yeah. it's really hard to defend for Olivier de like, because at any yeah. point he can just bez off with a, you know, with a oh. gutter and then it's... At one, at Here. two, no, it's uh, it's over. Don't say it's over, Jim. Don't, it's not oh. over. I hope Elliot is not here because I think it is. <laughs> it's I not over. over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it's over. Does he just stand here and cage around him? No, he's gonna hand it off to the uh, Blodge guy. Yeah, why? Why are we not? Why are we not? Why are we? Not, why, are we not, why are we not walking right flank here? I don't know. I thought oh, he was going. I thought was, this gutter was going to like you know come up here and the he I was going to stand there and cage. Does he think the gutter? What? What? Oh, I don't know. Surely you take that move with earlier, like you just directly just go right. Uh, this is this is madness. I think he's just completely lost his shit. This time. <laughs> is this madness? This is Sparta! Hold on a second, one, the this line got one, two, three, four, five, he's out of range, okay. So, he it's can only make the one way. D at max. If if he can get the gutter, the sidestep gutter there in some ridiculous way. Mm. You say ridiculous, it's like... Oh yeah, that's a good point, Darkest Dung, yeah, it was measuring how far he could move with the thrower, maybe, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. And then just accidentally was like, whoops, <laughs> whoopsie, what the fuck have I done? I mean, he could have oh, had like a full cage with the ball on the bludger, like, that's the thing, like, it's just, I don't know. Or he could have just kept it, like, I would have just kept it on the, on the, on the thrower, because, like, it's another one yeah. in 36 that could fail, right? So I just keep it on the thrower, and then your strength three, and, you know, like, you can, you've always got the handoff option if, like, something goes wrong, right? I don't like rolling a 1 in 36 that isn't necessary. 
Colsey, how yeah, he, he, he could have been far out of range for this. Yeah. Well, far is a big word, but like, yeah, he could have been out of range for this. For this mess. <laughs> you see, US schools go. Uh, <laughs> this was this was Sol that, that that went a bit mad. I think Olivier de okay. not really had the chance to not be. Oh, well, there you uh, go. And that GG. is it. It's, and he gets another plan of story as well. Yeah, it's basically GG, isn't it? It's it's not it's not over, but it's as close to being over as it can be without it actually okay. being over. <laughs> So, so how how does this work? Like top top nef USA guy beats like top nef guy. Is top nef USA guy now top nef guy? Is that, oh, do you know what? we should have had this nef rank, shouldn't we? We should have we should have asked them. <laughs> I, they might have done it. They might have made it nef ranked as well before it started. Like obviously not now, but I didn't think of that. But yeah, could have could have asked them. Well, does who's not? I guess Art's not a nef member, is he? I don't know, but I mean, I could and be like, a I could be a TO like you then, Dimmy. Tio, only cool people are Tio's. Oh shit! He oh, re-rolled it, and it turns a one in eighty-one. Oh, Sol kicking himself for the bad turn ordering, no doubt. Right, the one in nine there, when he could have, you know, he could have just moved this guy. Right, this guy was free. Got us free, isn't he? I don't think about it. Too much, got us free. <laughs> He, or he could have just dodged this guy as well, like so he could have yeah, moved the gutter up, he could have dodged that guy, both are better than the one in nine block. In fact, the the blocker the block gutter could have blitzed that guy and then he would have just wrestled himself and then freed that guy up. But um Oh wait, no, is this is this Olivia Deluxe guy? <laughs> <laughs> they all look the same to me. Fucking rats. He doesn't have a colour on him, does he? Like the the throw doesn't yeah. have any colour. Oh no, he's got he's got it there. He's got it on his on his loincloth. Alright, something happened. Dub skulls. <laughs> yep. Ogre showing why why it's the best piece on the team again. Guess yeah, yeah, sure. most reliable big guy, what a player. <laughs> <laughs> so Sol goes in 2-0 up. Olivier Delight could like score a one turn. And then uh, maybe turn him over in two, right? Like maybe. So it's not yeah, over. Nothing. You got nothing to lose trying it. Like yeah. you might as well. So Sol will maybe set up to stop the two turn. Uh, sorry, maybe set up to stop the one turn. Seeing as the two turn isn't scary, is it? Because if he two turns, he's only got one turn left to, to beat you. So Olivier Dulac has to score in one turn. So Sol has to recognise that Olivier Dulac has to score in one turn. <laughs> And it looks like he's just setting up normally. Mm. It's not a horrible setup versus a one turn, isn't it? It's not but terrible, this is, but it's. This is okay. It shouldn't be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. That's my analysis. This should not yeah. be good enough, but we'll see if it is. Funny old game, isn't it? I don't think Olivia Delac's really done anything wrong. It's just been uh... oh, it's always fun to see like two good and well known Skaven coaches play against each other. Yeah. Is it? Uh... <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, Timmy, this is the the Super League is brilliant, isn't it? You know, like every every game could be a chalice final, couldn't it? It's uh it's absolutely glorious. The best blood ball on Twitch. In they're fact, all mad, in the world. they're all mad dice rollers. They're all mad <laughs> dice rollers. I can't handle it. <laughs> I mean, they're rats. Oh, they? they're all just—they're all just exceptionally lucky, as they say within the community, right? All they are against me. <laughs> they are I've against me as speed. well. <laughs> yeah. I've had seventy-nine blitzes in three games. <laughs> <laughs> rats are just disgusting look at dogs. <laughs> Do you remember when I played against Dado and he got two blitzes in a match against me? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh shit, quick snap. quick snap and he's not in a tackle zone, so... Ooh. 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 Okay, this could be interesting. So do, the does, could yeah. by pushing one of the guys from the centre into like... Into here, right? So you blitz this gutter, you, you, sat, you quick snap to here, you blitz this gutter, and then you roger to and then you block this guy right so you're there which is pretty good isn't it maybe there's a better way 
that would be my instinct. Like the way he's set up, he's setting up to block with a rover anyway, which I don't really like. But. Uh, yeah, he's fucked this. Because the rogers has got frenzy, so he's just going to push him in front of the gut runner. No, because so you blitz this gutter first. Yeah, but then he hasn't filled the square in front of the gutter. And then you fill, and push. then you fill the square, right? You you blitz this gutter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Power. Okay. And then fill. But now you haven't got Juggernaut on the Roger, right? So now no. you now you're just hoping for pushes but and three you are, dice. You are, you are hitting on a three dice and yeah. you know, saving the reroll would be quite nice here in general, so I, I don't hate it. Like, no. Because you need you need that reroll for the next dive as well. I, I like whenever you have to rely on the Roger he always lets you down. <laughs> He's the worst. He should he put a uh, he should put this gutter here, right, in uh, case he rolls a one and casts this guy. So it's uh, still three dice. I don't like that line right there. What is that line right there? No, I don't. I don't get that. That's the square he's pushing the gut runner to, isn't it? This so the gutter must be filling here. Then this gutter must be running around to fill here. Uh, yeah, you have to put the lineman there oh, now, and then put the gutter there, and then uh, it's fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, Oliver? he's done this wrong, he's done this wrong, hasn't he? This is... Oliver? Oh, it doesn't matter, he's, he's bought down anyway. <laughs> uh, he, he, could, he could still do it, I think, potentially from there, because I think you get enough hits to get him in, into another one, but it's an extra hit, isn't it? Yeah, it would have, it would have pushed him up to there instead that, that of one, there, that, so it's that, that line rat right, that you put next to the gutter could have just been one square back. Yeah, he, he, he could have just not been there at all. He could have just not been anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he, was just, he was irrelevant. He just got in the way. It's just weird. Yeah, really weird. Like, he's not even achieving anything, even if you uh, fill in the last square. He's not really doing anything except making. Yeah, because you only get the one push anyway. Cause it's like, it's the... Well, no, like I guess you get the hit with a mighty blow rat, didn't you? No, but I mean, is if, if you fill in the square. As well as that he should have done as well. If you're going to fill in that square, you have to fill in this square so he doesn't do anything. But the point is, he doesn't do anything anyway. Having him up there for subsequent the subsequent blocks, which mean, doesn't make any sense. Mentality-wise, like it's not it's not a weird thing that we see like a one-turn fail here because like I, I can imagine from Oliver's position, he's two zero behind, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta yeah. you know <laughs> I gotta get back from this all this shit, and then you know he fucks yeah. up some his one turn. And, yeah. Like. Yeah, probably feeling diced, you know. It's like there's been yeah. there's been there's been Hilded. some bad dice on both sides. But uh yeah, yeah obviously maybe, maybe maybe he's got an auto clicker and it accidentally clicked the wrong square. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. <laughs> Only mistakes I ever make, obviously. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh he's wrestling. Funny thing is. The funny thing is, like, he should, uh, with the strip you can't, but like, normally in a normal turn here, like, Oliver should still just opt for, like, a score here in the next turn, yeah. because of the blitz and all that. Yeah. Um, There'd be a chance, wouldn't there, but it's so low yeah. that, like, yeah, you can completely forgive him for not making the best one turn attempt there. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, mentally yeah. he's probably... Really done. Oh That's yeah, and Olivia Deluxe team name is is Olivia Fantastic, which is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> pretty good team name. <coughs> Leave your comments below. Like this. Uh... Yeah. Do you think Olivia is fantastic? Do you think the Danker is the best strat in Blood Bowl? Again, we have to get these questions in instantly because people only watch ten minutes. So, so next video, <laughs> what do you think of the Danker? Fantastic. It's been a good game, though. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice game. Very nice game, and it's it's cool to see like in 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 the net format itself. Like I have very little experience in the net format mm. uh, I love compared it, to these gentlemen. Absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah, they both played loads, right? Souls played about 120 games, I think, in the past uh, past two or three years, which is like a hell of a lot for tabletop, isn't it? It's loads. Oh. Yeah, I've played 40 in like three years, and I thought I go to a lot of tournaments. Mm. Yeah, and I, I haven't touched tabletop at all, so like I, I, I do lack on that department, like the, 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 the nef ruling, mm. or the nef format. Yeah, and this is the Euro Bowl rules, and more or less, 
more or less the Euro Bowl rules. Um, well, less. It's <laughs> obviously there's not as many teams, and uh, and there's no inducements due to client limitations. I think that's fair to say. Like I, I guess we could have done it, but it was going to be so difficult that we just didn't bother. <laughs> Either Olivier is, is trying to figure out something like amazing here uh, <laughs> to take the score, or you know, he's, he's, he's gone to the bathroom or something. I don't or he's know. just tamping, raging, fuming. <laughs> yeah, good luck that. <laughs> nah, I don't it's think any of these, I don't think anyone involved in this are really tamping, raging, fuming people, are they? I think it's, you know, you've got to be a bit sensible when you're playing these games. You know you're gonna if you if you have bad dice you're not gonna win like do you know what I mean like that's it's as simple as that isn't it do you know what I mean like I I I never ever get as mad if I'm getting diced by like you know Olivier Dulac or Sol or you know Crucifer do you know what I mean like I never get as sad about those dicings because if I get diced I'm gonna lose right and they might have lost anyway whereas if I'm playing somebody you know who's like a 30 percenter who's beating me with bretonians and inflicting my only bretonian loss i'm absolutely <laughs> raging <laughs> raging uh, yeah <laughs> made good content though <laughs> yeah <laughs> arguably <laughs> Is 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 uh, Sol just casually gonna go for three zero here just to make it? He should do, yeah. He should do. Uh, Tiebreakers, so yeah. it makes every and he's that that strip wrestles in in range, so all he needs to do is sack and hand it off to him. Yeah, yeah, he should absolutely go for this. Gets the pal. The pal. Uh, decent scatter. Oh no, he hasn't got a reroll, so. You can chain. You can chain the scatter. You can chain the bubble with. Like you can. Yeah, but it's a, a you don't four. Have to pick it might up. be worse than a four, might not it? Is the problem? Yeah, just mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dodge out easy. Ah. There was there was let's say that there was a two D with the tackle blitzer, and then you just you just push everything up. Yeah. And you just do long one long big yeah chain there. Yeah, there was the one big long chain, but it's like it could have ended up worse for you, right? I guess. For sure. For sure. So. Oh, know. show. I don't know oh, how sure. worth it was. <clears throat> I, I like to generally when I think about it, like when I have a reroll, I tend to avoid those kind of scatters. When I don't have a reroll, I, I try to go for them because yeah. um, it's very unlikely to get them get it anyway on a on a on a on a, on a normal tie, right? Like yeah, without yeah. a reroll. Yeah, four. I mean, he needed like a four two, didn't he? I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that crazy, but yeah. I, it's probably the odds were in his favour to get the scatter. It was probably it was probably plus EV to scatter, but it's understandable not to bother because it, you'd feel really bad when you have like the line rat caught it or whatever, or it's scattered back to someone else who'd activated. Like one of Olivier's players caught it. Like there's so many things that you would yeah that you would feel bad about it going. So I guess a four two isn't that ridiculous to roll right. So just no, take fine. it. Perfectly fine. Well, there you go. What a match! What a match! I'm, I'm a bit disappointed because n neither of them have have Krieg as a, as a coach there. That's outrageous. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm too, yeah, super disappointed with the lack of Krieg. Yeah. And this this bug hasn't been fixed either. There's no summary when you're watching a match. So, <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> We've still got this. Just uh, looking at the uh, looking at the things. We don't I mean, get to that, see any of the stats or the scores or anything. That running goblin brings me so much joy. It's brilliant, isn't it? So yeah, th these these are all the things there, Sinistos. Um, it's two groups of six, and uh, and then the winner and the second place um, of each group like go through the playoffs. So at the moment, this is the group stage because it's, it's just started. But yeah, all the information's there, the, the tables and everything, and the rules and. Uh, Rather good links there, the Discord that has everything in. So yeah, there you go. Yep. The coach's favourite colour. Like you can Yeah. Favourite sandwich? That's Dimmy's favourite, isn't it? Yep. 
Oh, well, that, that could be the next question when we're <laughs> casting a game. What's your favourite sandwich? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. What's your favourite sandwich? What's your favourite sandwich, Dimmy? Horse beef and radish. Uh, horse beef. Roast <laughs> beef and horse radish. Horse do we really? Do we? Do we? Do we really want to hear like what Fel thinks like Andy does with tuna? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> horse beef. <laughs> horse, horse beef is a fucking new one. Do you know what? I don't like horseradish. Um, I love horseradish. Oh my god, it's so yeah. good. So there you go. Right, what I can do is I've updated this in live time. Look, so we can see here. <laughs> there's the there's the uh, oh yeah, Chunter's up there. Right, we'll get rid of Chunter. There we go. So the, this is the Group B tables. We've got Sol top of the league with his win. Cruz and Hiru drew. Olivier Dulac with his loss uh, gets to the bottom of the league, and then. Tomorrow we've got Andy Davo versus Artemis in the evening sometime, so that will be decent. An absolute banger that yeah. won't it? Orc Mirror there, and uh, Group A, uh, Diamed and I are top of the league, and Moomin Slayer and Arian both picking up losses in their first game. And Cold Troop versus Strider is also on tomorrow um, at nine UK time. So two huge matches tomorrow, absolutely glorious. And uh, congratulations to. Sol, commiserations to Olivier. Thank you very much, Crystal Hunter and Dimmy G. Glorious having you both in the booth. You're welcome, mate. Always yeah, fun. thank you. Brilliant. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>